Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to view or control um, or both um, somebody else's computer screen. And the way I'm going to show you this is only for a Mac. So first of all, you can download this application. It's called Chicken of the VNC. Weird name, yes I know. But um, also a weird icon. But that's it. I'll provide a download link in the description. And um, it'll be a self-explanatory download. Um, and over here, there'll be the list of servers. So there'll always be a button for a new server. And then your computer, which you can view, but it's just going to like do a bunch of the same windows, so it's going to look really weird. But um, like right here, show mom's MacBook. That's my mom's MacBook. And um, so I'm just going to give you a quick preview. I don't want to control it because um, I don't want to let her freak out that I'm controlling it from here. But I'm going to check this. If you want a full screen, you can click on that and then type in my password that I have it set up for, which I'll show you how to do in this video. Click connect and there's her screen and right now she's on Facebook. But um, first of all, to get this set up, install the Check on the VNC app and then just X out and don't do anything to it. Go into your system preferences and then, well actually not into your system preferences. Once you install the chicken of the VNC on your computer, go to the, the computer that you want to control or view, and you got to make sure you know the password. And um, well, you usually would have to. It depends on what settings I have. Like okay, yeah. And so go and do sharing, which is the third column down under internet and wireless. And there'll be a bunch of check boxes over here, and you may not be able to click on any of them. And that's because down here in the bottom left, it'll say click the lock to make changes. Click on that and then type in the password. But if they have it on default to be unlocked, then you can go ahead and change all these settings. Make sure, um, I guess it doesn't matter if any of these are checked, but um, just make sure remote management is checked. And once that is checked, it'll um, uncheck the screen sharing automatically because it can't be both at the same time. Then over here under remote management, it'll say on, click on computer settings. And then make sure this box is checked. VNC viewers may control screen with the password. You can just set any password for that. It doesn't have to be your password for your login on your Mac or their Mac. Just be any password. Click OK. But then you have to type in a password, their password for their computer to authenticate it. But um, that's it. And then it's going to check into the VNC back on your computer. Now she's checking her email, but um, I don't want to mess with the privacy on that. And that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and donate.